uh, energy level diagram for exothermic reactions. Eh? Okay, now uh, this is the energy level diagram for exothermic reactions. You should have learned energy level diagram in a uh, rate of reactions, right? Yeah, in rate of reactions, uh, you, you should have learned this. Uh. So now let's try to revise what we have learned. Uh, in exam, uh, usually in these chapters, uh, they will ask you to draw this energy level diagram or energy profile diagram. Uh, okay, sometimes we call it energy profile diagram. Diagram, okay. So they will ask you to draw this uh, energy profile diagram. Now for this energy profile diagram, there's only one axis. Okay, there's only one axis. Uh, there's the vertical axis. Okay, the vertical axis. Uh. And uh, make sure that you, lab you label this energy, okay? If you do not label this, then mark will be deducted. Uh. So when you are, you are asked to draw energy level diagram, you only draw the vertical axis, uh, okay? And then label it energy, okay? Now in this energy level diagram, it will show the energy change, uh, whether the energy uh, will the energy will decrease or the energy will increase. Okay. Now this energy that shown here is the chemical energy. Yeah? Okay. The energy shown here is the chemical energy. So it shows the ke chemical energy change. Huh? This is the chemical energy. So it's a chemical energy. So first it shows the uh, energies of the reactants. Huh? Okay. So in the chemical reactions, before it reacts, this is called the reactant. This is called the reactant. And uh, this is called the product. This is the product. Huh? So reactants, products. So first we show the energy for the reactants. Okay. Uh, after that, we show the energy for the products. Huh? Okay, the products. In uh, exothermic reactions, the energies of the products is lower than the energies of reactants because chemical energy has been released to the surroundings. Huh? Okay, so when energy released to the surrounding, the energy will decrease. Okay, so the energies of the products is lower than the energies of the reactants. Uh, here you need to write the reactants. Huh? Okay, you need to write this zinc plus the two HCl, and then uh, here the products. You need to write these products, huh? and also you need to tell this uh, heat of reactions. This delta H uh, stands for heat of reaction. We will discuss heat of re heat of reactions later. Huh? Okay, so this delta H stands for heat of reactions, and for exothermic reactions, the heat of reaction is negative. Okay, negative uh, to indicate that uh, the the energy has decreased. Huh? The energy decrease, so the delta H equals to negative. For examples, uh, for examples, uh, for these reactions, uh, for these reactions, uh, let's erase uh, these things here. Okay, let's erase it. So for these reactions, the reactants, the reactants is zinc and uh, HCl. Eh, so you must write zinc plus uh, two HCl. Eh. Okay. Now, uh, when you write the reactants here, you 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 also need to uh, balance the equations, uh, okay? Don't write just zinc and HCl. Uh, you must write zinc plus two HCl. Yeah, you must balance the equation as well. Uh. So zinc plus two HCl, and then the products is uh, zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. So we write zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. And uh, the heat of reaction is negative one two six kilojoule per mole. Uh. So it's negative one two six kilojoule per mole. Okay, so the negative indicates that uh, heat energy, uh, sorry, the, the chemical energy has uh, decreased uh, in the chemical reactions. In some cases where you don't know the heat of reaction, you don't know this. Okay, if you don't know this, then uh, you can just write delta H equals to negative x kilojoule per mole. So just use an x uh, to indicate the heat of reaction if you don't know. Uh, because what's important, what's important here is the negative. Okay, it shows that you know that uh, for exothermic reaction, the delta H is negative. This is for endothermic reactions. Uh. Endothermic reactions, then uh, the energy increase. Uh. The energy increase and the delta H is positive. Okay, so uh, here it shows the uh, heat of reactions for these reactions. So, Uh, this is the answer for the endothermic reactions. Eh? Okay, so the chemical energy increase after the reaction, so the energies of the products is higher than the energies of the reactants, eh? and the heat of reaction is positive.